We live in a world that runs on data. It's how Amazon and Netflix know which movies and products to recommend, how Starbucks manages a global supply chain, and how Uber connects drivers with passengers in real time. But the thing is, data skills aren't just for tech companies or professional analysts anymore. Everyone works with data to some degree, and everyone can benefit from data literacy skills. In this video, we're covering an important topic that will help you take your data literacy to the next level. When we talk about the data ecosystem, we often describe it in terms of three key components, data strategy, data architecture, and data governance. Think of data strategy as the overarching vision for how data will be used for the business and which types of decisions it will help inform. For example, is data considered an important factor in product development? Will it be critical for optimizing customer acquisition and conversion funnels? Will teams need access to real-time data and information to do their jobs? These are the types of questions that can help inform a company's data strategy. I find it helpful to think about these terms in the context of a construction project. Data strategy is like the blueprints for the building, which help make sure that everyone involved is aligned on the goal and following the same plan. Data architecture describes the actual tools and technology used to collect, manage, process, and connect data, where the data will be sourced, what's the best way to store it, how we can build the infrastructure to move that data from point A to B, and so on. So following our construction analogy here, think of data architecture like the foundation and plumbing of the building, which creates a rock-solid foundation and allows data to flow exactly where it needs to go. Then you've got data governance, which are the rules and frameworks that make sure the data is secure, accurate, and usable. This might include things like user roles and permissions, change logs, quality assurance and version control, data dictionaries and catalogs, usage guidelines, etc. Going back to our conversation about data democratization, having a strong governance plan in place is absolutely critical if you intend to make your data broadly accessible. Bottom line here is that you can think of governance like the building codes, which exist to ensure that workers have the proper permits and all follow the same universal quality standards. So there you have it. That's a quick 10,000 foot view of the broader data ecosystem. If you enjoyed this content and want to see more, we've got a brand new data literacy foundations course, and it's entirely free. You can check it out at mavenanalytics.io. So whether you're an individual looking to build confidence, a leader seeking to empower and upskill your team, or a data professional just trying to stay ahead of the curve, this is the course for you. We've got a lot to cover, so let's dive in.